Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. As we pursue the boundless frontier of exploring the universe, the choice of energy is crucial. Nuclear batteries in space provide reliable power support for space exploration with their unique working principles and long lasting energy supply. However, regarding how nuclear batteries operate and why they can last for centuries in space, the editor and viewers are concerned about several questions. 1. What is the working principle of nuclear batteries? How do they convert nuclear energy into electrical energy? 2. Why don't nuclear batteries need recharging to last for centuries? What is special about their energy source? 3. Despite the excellent performance of nuclear batteries in space exploration, why are they difficult to promote in civilian applications? How do cost and safety issues affect their widespread use? The demand for energy in space exploration is different from that on Earth. On Earth, we can rely on various methods such as solar energy, fossil fuels, or wind energy to obtain energy. However, in space, traditional energy supply methods become impractical due to factors such as sunlight and climate limitations. Therefore, scientists began to study the use of nuclear energy as an energy source for space exploration. Nuclear batteries, as the name suggests, are devices that convert nuclear energy into electrical energy. Their working principle is different from that of traditional batteries. Traditional batteries release energy through chemical reactions, while nuclear batteries utilize nuclear reactions to generate energy. The core of nuclear batteries is radioactive isotopes, such as plutonium-238 or curium-242. These isotopes have stable radioactive decay characteristics and can continuously release heat energy. By placing these radioactive isotopes in nuclear batteries, heat exchangers are used to convert the heat generated by decay into electrical energy, which is then supplied to spacecraft and scientific equipment. Compared to conventional batteries, nuclear batteries have a longer lifespan. The half-life of plutonium-238 is approximately 87.7 years, and that of curium-242 is approximately 5.5 years, allowing nuclear batteries to provide stable electrical output for decades or even centuries. Mars rovers are typical examples of spacecraft using nuclear batteries in space exploration. Due to the short daylight hours on Mars and weather conditions such as dust storms, the efficiency of traditional solar panels on the Martian surface is greatly limited. Therefore, Mars rovers typically use nuclear batteries as their primary energy source to ensure stable operation during long-term exploration missions. Deep space probes refer to spacecraft that enter deep space areas such as outer planets of the solar system and interstellar space for scientific exploration. Since these probes leave the range of sunlight in the solar system, traditional solar panels cannot provide sufficient energy support. Therefore, deep space probes often use nuclear batteries as their main source of energy to ensure continuous operation during long-term exploration missions. Nuclear batteries, as efficient and stable energy devices, play an important role in space exploration. Their characteristics of not requiring recharging and providing sustainable operation for decades or even centuries make them an indispensable energy choice in space exploration. With the continuous advancement of technology, it is believed that nuclear batteries will play an even more important role in future space exploration, providing lasting and stable energy security for human exploration of the universe. Nuclear batteries, also known as radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, or atomic batteries, operate on the principle of utilizing the temperature difference between radioactive isotopes and their surroundings to generate electricity. Unlike nuclear power plants, which involve complex processes to convert nuclear energy into electricity, nuclear batteries are simpler. They consist of high-performance semiconductor materials such as bismuth telluride or lead telluride, which are connected in series. Additionally, nuclear batteries require a suitable heat source and heat exchanger to achieve electricity generation. The decay process of radioactive isotopes powers nuclear batteries. There are various types of nuclear batteries, with plutonium-238 being the most commonly used fuel in spacecraft nuclear batteries. During its decay process, plutonium-238 emits an alpha particle, which slows down due to resistance, 
thereby releasing heat. According to experimental calculations, the power density of plutonium-238 during decay is 0.41 watts per gram, with a half-life of up to 87.7 years. The semiconductor materials mentioned earlier allow the heat generated during plutonium-238 decay to be converted into electrical energy. By serially connecting two different semiconductor elements to form the positive and negative poles of the battery, heat energy is converted into electrical energy using the temperature difference, a phenomenon known as the Seebeck effect. Radioactive isotopes and temperature differences continually combine to form nuclear batteries. In summary, the principle of nuclear batteries is to convert heat into electrical energy. Nuclear batteries are not only small in size and light in weight, but also convenient to use, with the most important feature being their long lifespan. Can nuclear batteries truly last for centuries without needing to be recharged? In fact, from their principles, we can see that the entire process is continuously decaying, which means that energy will be depleted after a certain period, and nuclear batteries will become waste. However, Currently, the lifespan of nuclear batteries in spacecraft is several decades or even centuries, which is sufficient to meet the demand for nuclear batteries by people. Because the lifespan of nuclear batteries is much longer than that of solar panels, most applications in the aerospace field use nuclear batteries. For example, in 2012, the United States used 45 pounds of nuclear batteries on the Mars rover Curiosity, and even the latest Mars rover Perseverance uses similar nuclear batteries to those used on Curiosity. Nuclear batteries are also used in the medical field, such as in pacemakers, which can function in the human body for up to 10 years. Therefore, for patients, not only is there no burden of replacement, but they are also spared the need for surgery due to time issues. However, because nuclear batteries release radioactive contamination when exposed to fire, if a patient is cremated after death, the nuclear battery will be cremated along with them, posing a significant risk. Therefore, pacemakers using such nuclear batteries have been discontinued. Many people also wonder why, since nuclear batteries have a long lifespan and strong interference resistance, they cannot be used in civilian applications. There are mainly two reasons. First, the reason for discontinuing pacemakers is the same, their radioactive contamination cannot be resolved, and their use and the pollution they bring cannot be balanced in civilian use. Perhaps in the future, with the continuous development of technology, a better solution to this pollution problem can be found, but currently, we still cannot solve this pollution problem. However, in the aerospace field, Nuclear batteries can be controlled by the state and facilitate human exploration of the universe, making them suitable. Second, the cost of nuclear batteries is too high. For example, plutonium-238, as we know, costs millions of dollars per pound. An American detector requires 45 kilograms of nuclear batteries, which requires a huge amount of funding, and it is already difficult for a country to afford such a high amount for nuclear batteries, let alone ordinary people. Therefore, the cost price of nuclear batteries is not affordable for civilians, so it is difficult to make breakthroughs in civilian use, and it can only be greatly utilized in aerospace or other military fields. Finally, let me summarize today's video, hoping it brings you some inspiration and value. Through in-depth exploration of nuclear batteries, we not only understand their important role in space exploration, but also appreciate their unique working principles and long-term endurance. As a powerful tool for space exploration, nuclear batteries not only reflect the progress of human technology, but also demonstrate the spirit of human exploration of the unknown. However, amid our joy, we must also pay attention to the potential problems brought by nuclear batteries. Their radioactive contamination and high cost remain challenges that we must earnestly face. While pursuing technological progress, we must ensure the protection of the environment and human health, which are indispensable. Therefore, we need to continue to focus on the development of nuclear energy technology, promote research and application of safe and environmentally friendly energy solutions. On the road to future exploration, we need more innovation and wisdom to solve the challenges facing humanity while protecting our home, Earth.
Let us work together to tirelessly strive for the realization of human dreams and contribute to building a better future. Although nuclear batteries perform well in space exploration, their radioactive contamination and high cost cannot be ignored. I am concerned that without proper management, nuclear batteries may pose potential risks to the environment and human health. Therefore, I suggest that governments, research institutions, and businesses increase investment in the research and development of clean and safe energy technologies, actively explore alternative solutions, and achieve the goal of sustainable energy. Only in this way can we ensure that future space exploration and life on Earth can coexist harmoniously, paving the way for a green and sustainable future. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. That's all for today's video, see you next time. Bye-bye.